It was literally like 90 degrees yesterday and now I want to like storm and rain. So I'm sorry if you can hear the rain hitting the windows in the background. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another haul. I feel like I haven't done a clothing haul in so long just because I've just been focused on my fitness and getting this body together. But we're a little snatched. We lost a little weight. So I've started shopping again and what best to kick off my hauls again then with Azara hauls you see those lovely clothing items behind me we have one Zara here okay one in LA where I live there was like four around I would go and hit up every single one so I always got like the best pieces our shopping in Denver hasn't been the best but I did find some really good pieces and I can't wait to share with you guys now of course before we jump into this video do not forget to Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. Now every item, of course, will be listed down in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe. And before we jump to this haul, I just have to give a shout out to today's sponsor. Yeah, girl got our first YouTube sponsor. Shout out to you guys for supporting me though, because I, I just really appreciate and I appreciate all the love and support on my videos and I'm glad I can help you guys in any way. Now, this sponsor could not have come at a better time. I am really working on elevating my style. I'm trying to give like rich girl vibes, but on a budget, okay? I wanna look like a rich girl, but I'm not trying to spend rich girl money. Of course, your outfits, your look is super important, but how you smell is also super important. They sponsor Dossier. If you aren't familiar with Dossier or you haven't seen them or have heard of them, they are a affordable perfume brand. Now, more specifically, they reproduce high-end luxury perfumes at a fraction of the cost. Okay, I recently got into perfumes and it is expensive. <laughs> Dossier gives you the same luxury at a fraction of the cost. It is only $39 compared to the $50 to $250 that you're gonna spend, sometimes more, on a high-end brand. What's amazing about the company is that it's risk-free. So if you want to order a scent, not only are you gonna get the large bottle, but they're also gonna send you a smaller sample so you can wear, try out, see how it pairs well with you. And if you don't like it, because you haven't opened the larger bottle, you can return it with a full refund the two that I picked up. So they come in this little packaging, which is super simple. And inside you get a card that comes with it. And then it tells you all about the perfume that you chose. It tells you the notes, um, top notes, middle notes, base notes. It lets you know what specific luxury perfume that this is inspired by. And it lets you know like the concentration. So it just gives you some insight on the perfume that you chose. Let me show you the two that I picked. So this is what it looks like. So cute, so simple, and I love that the top is like magnet. <laughs> Oriental, <laughs> Floriental, I think that's how you pronounce it, is inspired by black opium, the YSL black opium. Now, I've never smelled the black opium in person, but this is for sure like an everyday scent. This is what I would wear on the daily. The top notes are mandarin, pear, pink pepper, and you get like a hint of licorice as well. So this is definitely gonna be my everyday scent. On the floral grapefruit, this is inspired by Nell Chance perfumes. Now I have a Chanel Chance, but I don't have the exact one that this is inspired by, but I have smelt it and it's literally identical okay. and it's only $39. When my Chanel Chance cost me like 120, I think, somewhere around there. So definitely make sure to check out Dossier if you're looking to step up your perfume game, if you're not looking to spend a ridiculous amount of money. And who doesn't wanna save some money? Like I wish I would've known about this brand before I went and spent like $800 on four different perfumes. So. Thank you so much, Dossier, for sponsoring this video. Now, let's jump right into the haul. All right, jumping right into this haul, we're gonna start off with this little jumpsuit that I'm wearing. Also, I'm wearing socks because I haven't had a pedicure and people be coming for you. I don't need y'all to see my mess of toes. If you see my other hauls, you know I love me a jumpsuit. They're just comfortable, easy to put on. Now, this one is, how do I put it? It is tight, but then also too loose. 
if that makes sense. Like it's tight in the places that I don't want it to be tight and it's loose in the places that I would like it to be tighter. Now if you're a thick thigh girl like me, it's just like, it's just not loose enough down here. It's like when I continue to pull it up, but then in my waist area, it's just way too big. And I got this in a size medium. Now, if you don't have the thick thighs like I do, I would recommend sizing down just because this is just very, very stretchy, like really stretchy. Regardless, this is still a super, super comfortable jumpsuit. Like this is one of those, like I'm just gonna kind of lounge around the house in or great to go run errands in if you don't really feel like getting dressed but you want to kind of look put together, then I would definitely go with this. Just a nice little spaghetti strap, little bodysuit. Then up close, it is ribbed. I don't know if you can see the ribbed material, um, but it's pretty thick, so it's not thin at all, but it's not like that um, wintertime fabric thick. So yes, that is the first little number. So here's our next two pieces. Here we got just a basic black tank. I also have it in white as well. I am like the queen of rib tank tops. I have like 10 in black, 10 in white. I got them some in gray, some in nude. Anytime I'm at any store and I see a little, these little tanks, I pick it up. And this was like $5. So I definitely grabbed some more. I just love to wear this type of tank top around, out in the gym. So I always have to pick these up. And then I got these, the high-waisted mom jeans. Yeah, they're like these high-waisted mom jeans. Now with Zara, I knew that none of these bottoms are gonna really fit my waist. It just, how it is, when I can find them to fit my thighs, they're just not gonna fit my waist. And that's okay, I plan to get all of these taken in. I've always had the hardest time finding like mom jeans, boyfriend jeans, just because I don't have hips and I have thicker thighs. So they don't sit like boyfriend jeans do on some girls and that's okay. So I will get these altered. If you see all of this extra space back here, like there's a lot of extra room, but I absolutely love the way they fit my legs. With these, I believe you can kind of roll them up if you want to or leave it down. These would be so cute with sneakers or heels. You can dress them up, dress them down. They got a little rip on the front, like by the knee and over here, but I love these. And I think Zara just has high quality jeans. So it's worth buying them and getting them altered and they're gonna last you a long time. Like all my jeans from Zara have lasted me forever. So, okay, so next up I have this one shoulder little cut out detailed bodysuit. Now this is a thong. Um, I absolutely love Zara's bodysuits. I have like 10 of them. Seriously, I have some long sleeve, I have some short sleeve. They just have amazing bodysuits. Cute little detail. Like bodysuits are so simple. Bodysuits and some jeans or any type of bottom, I, I feel like just makes you look like really put together. Nice and tight, it hugs you well. And then this little detail here just kind of elevates it a little bit more. Um, but I absolutely love it. Just a nice, simple bodysuit. It has that like, spandexy type material like little shiny material a little bit um so it hugs you so nicely um, snaps in the front so you gotta use the bathroom just unsnap it <laughs> you don't have to be in the stall all naked taking off your entire bodysuit but just a simple little top um super cute love it only twenty dollars definitely worth the price all right next up we have these two pieces i'm kind of feeling this pink and brown is that a thing is pink and brown a thing because i like this now i got this little this little bralette top it is super thin and stretchy but extremely comfortable like so comfortable and i don't know if you're meant to wear this out but i'm gonna wear it out it get a medium large and I am a 34 double D. If you're any bigger than that, like this top is not gonna work. Like you're you're working with a little bit of fabric, okay? Like it's covering barely anything. But I don't feel like I'm gonna pop out, so that is okay. And then I got these slacks. Now I need these pants in every color. Like these are so nice and so long 
and I will have to get them taken in, of course. Let me show you the back. So it's not too bad, but I definitely want to take it in maybe like a couple inches so they can just like fit perfectly, but they still fit really nice. So if I want them to wear them out right now, I totally can. I love taking like dressy pants and then making it casual with like a basic top like a wife beater or a little bralette like this and then throwing on some sneakers. I just love that look. But otherwise you can also dress this up. Right, here is the next top and I am absolutely obsessed with this top. It's so cute, like this outfit is just so well put together. It's just like structured nicely. It fits so well, let me show you the back. It is an open back and then the sleeves are like this like little scrunchy kind of thing going on here just completely open now i'm not wearing a bra with this and i don't think you need a bra like you have enough support in this and it's just structured very very well in the front where you'll totally be okay because of the back in this stretchy material this will work well if you have larger boobs as well hands down one of my favorite tops that i went back and i found it similar not the same one but in the brown which i'm gonna show you in a little bit right now here are the next two pieces we got like this little skirt moment going on right here and then we got the brown top which is similar to the white top that i just had on so the difference between the two is that this one is not as structured as the other one when it comes down to the fabric i'm trying to think that one is more of like thick button up business shirt type of material and this one is more linen so this is more of like a linen just kind of natural vibes kind of top going on but it's still similar as the other one like the back actually has two straps going on back here um, but it still has that like little stretchy little band going on here um, but i'm not wearing a bra with this one and i still don't need think i still don't think you need a bra with this top as well the fabric kind of cuts weird like i feel like it's like giving me double boob a little bit but not super bad to where it's like crazy noticeable this skirt i was super skeptical about buying a skirt from zara just because it's already hard enough finding jeans that fit me well um i was worried about the skirts because they don't have stretch on them <laughs> but i came across this one and you see her she has like a little slit in the front and in the back but I really like this a lot. She's a little tight on the hips, just a little bit, but I like that my thighs are free, okay? Because if this went any lower, there's no way I was gonna fit this. Um, so it has like this cute little detail, button detail in the front. It goes at an angle and it's like a little, there's like brown in the buttons. So I feel like it can go super, super well with like a brown or nude type top. And um, it's not too bad in the back. Like, I am okay. Like, I would not take this one in because I think it fits pretty well. So we have this top, and I love her. Oh, my gosh. I'm not really sure how to tie it up. This is the strings are, like, super, super long. So I just, like, kind of wrapped it around my waist twice and then tied it in the back. But I'm not sure if that's how you wear it. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can wear it however you want. I'm getting this in the small. It was, like, the only one there. And... With tie tops and open back tops, like I feel like the sizing doesn't really matter as much because you can decide on how loose or how tight you want it. But coverage in the front, like, and I feel like it goes well with this skirt too. A lot of these pieces are actually like interchangeable. Like I feel like I can wear all these tops with all of these bottoms. Just because I kind of stuck with a neutral palette and stuff as well, I feel like they can all be paired together. So you can definitely, mix these up these are good staple pieces like i would wear these top this top with the oversized jeans as well the mom jeans in this top will still be super super cute together so moving into the last couple pieces i have some white slacks and this white little top now with the slacks i had bought the brown ones first and i loved them so much when i went back the next day i tried to find them in other colors and i thought i was getting the same ones but i didn't <laughs> These ones aren't as long, not nearly as long. So short girl friendly and they're tighter, even though they're literally the same exact size, which is crazy. <laughs> okay, all of these pieces, like the sizing is just so different. I have smalls, I have mediums, I have larges and the jeans, I have like an extra large, like 
My sizing is all over the place with Zara. That's why I don't like to shop online and I like to go in store because I have no idea how it's gonna fit. They still fit pretty nice. They're just a little, a little too snug on the thighs. We would have gotten these in an extra large, but I'm gonna keep them. They're fine. Um, and then they kind of do that dip thing in the back, which I, not a huge fan of. Definitely end up getting these taken in as well when I get my other bottoms taken in. Um, but other than that, I still really like them. This top, I literally cannot raise my hands right now because if I do, the, the girls are gonna pop out, okay? <laughs> so if you get this top, I would for sure wear something under it. Um, maybe a little bralette or something because one, this is like a bigger size and still I cannot lift my arms. But it does have these ties on the side, so I believe you can scrunch it up more or loosen it up. Actually, let's see how far I can come down. Okay, so it actually doesn't loosen up that much. Um, so yeah, so just be careful with this top. I still love it, I'm keeping it. I'm just gonna make sure I wear a tiny little bralette or something under it, just in case. I decided to raise my hands or do something so my, my goods aren't out. <laughs> and this is the last top. This is just the same little basic ribbed crop top as the black one that I got. Um, I She is dirty because I wore it already and I just tied it in the front. I actually wore this with like some green slacks. I'll insert a picture. And, um, and it's just super cute. Like I mentioned before, I love dressing down dress pants by adding in like the basic tops and throwing on some sneakers. So that's exactly what I did with this one. Um, I could for sure do an all white monochrome moment if I wanted to, but I paired this with the green and I loved it. But yeah, that is all. This is the last piece. Actually, let me just show y'all my little ghetto setup right here because <laughs> this is my boyfriend's fault. He took all two or three tripods. I can't find any of my tripods, so I had to use a ladder and I had to put my garbage can on it and then I had to use my mini tripod. Like, what? And that wraps up today's haul. Thank you again, Dossier, for sponsoring today's video. I will list everything about the brand, everything about all of the items that I tried on today in the description box down below. But don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe.